My name is Mr. Brandon, and I had the pleasure of working with Benji in 6th and 7th grade. Now, if you know Benji at all, you know that he is an extremely dedicated student and will go the extra mile on his own initiative to meet his goals. At the beginning of 6th grade, Benji's class was starting a new math strategy termed bar modeling. The learning curve was steep for most students, but Benji spent many hours working overtime in my office until he felt he had mastered the material. This character trait will serve you well in the coming years, and I wish you a lot of luck in high school. It is always a pleasure to teach a student like Ellen, whose joie de vivre is contagious, her joy for life and her excitement for learning. In seventh grade, we had a creative writing project in which the students had to sell the book they'd read outside of school. And Ellie proceeded to place toy cars on the ground and then tell the students we were going on a ride in a hot air balloon. She then lifted a magnificent ad up in the sky for us to see. It was beautifully designed and impeccable in its thoughtfulness. That is who Ellie is. Her sheer and schmooze on Shabbat is also quite impressive. And many a time she invites her friends to come learn with her. I will miss her next year. And who's going to make us that candy sushi? My name is Rabbi Middleman. I want to talk about Eitan Bayer. Eitan worked very, very diligently this year at developing his vocabulary skills, and he has a totally new vocabulary from when he started. He actively participates in our charts. He speaks daily about charashim and all the words together. I wish you much saslacha, Eitan. I'm excited to see you next year in the upper school. When Ezra was in lower school, I thought he was a totally different student. How surprised was I the first day of school when I got my class roster and I called the name Ezra Pilecki and he raised his hand. I am greeted every morning with his infectious smile. I think Ezra someday will make a great lawyer because he can talk his way out of anything. Good luck in high school, Ezra. Hi, I'm here to talk about Ezra Diamond. He is an outstanding eighth grader in our school. I think the Mida that applies to Ezra particularly is the Mida of Sablanut. Ezra is the type of student that will go out of his way to help out, cooperate, and get things done. He is our go-to guy for the yearbook, in addition to many other activities where we needed a responsible, helpful student who also was well-loved by all his peers. Much Hi, this is Mrs. Epstein. It was always been a pleasure to teach Ezra Troy. I've been teaching Ezra Troy for the last two years, and he's a great student. He's always friendly, always on time, always participate beautiful in class, very engaged, always helping other students, and always ask the right questions. Uh, his Hebrew had improved a lot. He is working so hard, and he's successful. He's doing it beautifully, and I wish him all the best. Have a great summer, Ezra, and enjoy next year also. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Gal Hassan. I remember teaching Gal in seventh grade. She always asked meaningful and important questions that always added another level of, and dimension to our classroom. The questions were not only good for her, but also added clarity to, for the other students. Gal did not allow one moment to go by without understanding any insane concept I threw at her. She went outside of her comfort zone and even when things got hard, she pulled through and worked her hardest. Good luck next year, keep it up, and enjoy the summer. Our middle school gave an award for the student who improved the most from sixth grade up until eighth. I think Henry Wagner would be a prime candidate we all know Henry's had some extra challenges to face, and we all admire his cooperative attitude, his beautiful spirit, his great sense of humor, and of course, his extensive knowledge of every bell schedule in the whole school. Henry has made some beautiful progress and done great work academically this year. Call a kavod, Henry, we're gonna miss you here in middle school. Jake, Eli, you come from a long line of class acts. You personify what it means to be a class act. The way in which you approach Torah, the way in which you appro approach mitzvot, the way in which you dress. 
Jake, Eli, it was my pleasure to teach you. We'll miss you here in the middle school, but wish you much hatzlacha as you continue your class act in the upper school. Chaim Magenzo is going to be greatly missed next year in the middle school. I taught Chaim in uh, sixth grade for a short period of time, and again in eighth grade in algebra one. He's a student who brightens the classroom the moment he walks in. He just radiates good cheer. Additionally, he's someone who works hard, and when he masters a concept, he's so visibly thrilled, he's almost bursting with excitement. It's a pleasure to teach someone who has such positive energy in the classroom. I look forward to hearing about his great achievements in high school and beyond. Hi, my name is Rabbi Weissman, and I'm here to talk about Yoni Albert. Yoni's new to the school this year, but he's already made a great impact in our community. He's a hard and dedicated worker. He's always willing to help anybody if they need anything. What, what inspires me the most about Yoni is his, that he's a year of Shemayim. He always wants to grow in Torah and mitzvot and have that be a big aspect of his life and the life of those around him. Wish you much haslacha in high school. Hi, my name is Mrs. Efton. I am here to tell about Joseph Feld, how wonderful and a great student he is. Joseph Feld has the middle of Anava. Joseph is a very modest person. He is very humble. Joseph is a great student. He gets to the class on time. He's very, very successful. He is always being patient and has time to answer and wait for the, the, the permission to answer. Joseph always pay attention to his friends next to him in class and always make sure that if he knows the answer, he doesn't interrupt them. Uh, the Mira of Anava is very, very important to success in life, to succeed in life. Um, I wish you all the best, Yosef, and we will miss you. It was a pleasure teaching Kira this year. Kira was an important addition to our Hebrew class. Her commitment to her studies, her derech eretz, her respect to her friends and her teachers is commendable. Kira, I wish you a wonderful summer. That's behind the upper school. We will miss you here in the middle school. Don't be a stranger. Tishmeri al kesho. It is always a pleasure to work with students like Leora Kelsey. Uh, the thing that I remember most about Leora is when I first met her, she had this amazing smile that just is infectious to anyone who sees it and it can't help but brighten your day. And the other thing I love about Leora is she's such an avid reader and I can't possibly keep up with all of the books she recommends to me even though I absolutely want to. Have a wonderful summer, Leora, and best of luck in the upper school. I'm here to talk about Lily Hanish. If someone in our school needs something, Lily is always one of the first ones to volunteer. Earlier this semester, I taught a lesson on how to use the graphing calculator in algebra. One of the students in my class was absent that day and didn't have a graphing calculator. So Lily, without prompting, offered to lend him a calculator and offered to teach him the lesson during lunch. She's a real mensch. She's sensitive to others' needs and generous with her time. I look forward to hearing about her great accomplishments in high school and beyond. Hi, I want to talk about Malky on. Uh, Malky, I first met you as a seventh grader and I was so excited to have you in PE. You came in and right away I knew you were going to be a great fit. You're so fast, athletic, and tough. I look forward to having you again next year in high school. You can't get rid of me. Max Cronish is our own renaissance man. He's witty, he's funny, you can quote from Shakespeare, has an incredible vocabulary. In the past years, I've seen Max blossom and grow, not just in height, but in mind. He's a thoughtful person, and he truly enjoys literature from Russian to British authors, and is often caught in a deep discussion with our own Momo P, his dear friend, about such topics and others. Minecraft, anyone? I'll miss Max next year and wish him much success. Maya will one day be a famous neurosurgeon or an Israeli singer, and I will be telling everyone that I was her Ivrit teacher. Maya puts her heart and her soul into everything that she does, whether it's her studies, her friendships, her acting and singing, and she does it all well. Maya, we will miss you here in the middle school. Good luck in the upper school. Don't be a stranger. Ve al kesher. That's Laha. Meshulam, you are our resident historian. You bring so much knowledge, background information, and essential statistics to every discussion we have. Without your forethought and credible sources, 
our class would not have been as rich without you. Hi, my name is Mrs. Atlas, and I am here to talk about one of our wonderful students, May Rob Fruit. One of the special midot that May Rav shows constantly is her willingness to help out and do chesed. It is well known among the staff that if anybody needs help with collating, with helping out another student, with lending her notes, May Rav will always say yes, be agreeable, and will follow through. We will miss May Rav and her many talents next year when she goes to the upper school. Much hatzlacha. This year, I had the privilege of teaching the 8th grade Toshba class, and right now I have the honor of speaking about Mia Raskin. She is an incredible student, a great friend, and the potential to be an awesome leader. This year, while the girls were doing the Egeret Harambam model lessons, Mia gave over a fantastic lesson. She created a handout that explained what she was trying to say so clearly. Mia is going to do so fantastic in high school, and I can't wait to watch her succeed. Hatzlacha. Moshe excels in the media of anava, modesty. Kishmo Kane Hu. He has a wonderful memory, and because of it, he is able to relate previously learned material with that which we are learning at the present. Go. Nadiv Turrets. I love thinking back to Nadiv Turrets starting to put on tefillin here in school and watching the seriousness of his tefillin elevated and really special. Nadiv has such a warm heart and such a beautiful maturity about him that we are going to certainly miss him in the middle school. Hatzlachan Nadiv as you make your way into the upper school. Mazel Tov Nava for Mrs. Weingott. I feel so lucky that I got to teach Nava for the past two years. She is such an exceptional student in my class. Particularly, I love the time that we had together when she came to my house for Shabbos and at the Yom Hatzalim dancing, which she was on my shoulders. Also, the questions that Nava asks in class are so specifically unique, and they add so much to the discussions that we have. It would not be the same without her. Nava, good luck next year. I enjoyed teaching Thuit in seventh grade last year. She always thought what we call in science outside the box. She's a great original thinker and always came up with new ideas and experimental design. I wish her well, 